Hello friends, Happy New Year to you. Today, we are going to learn, how to create New Year typography in After Effects. Now let's get started. First of all we will create a new composition. We call it main, I'm using full HD resolution at 60 frame per second. Now select the typing tool, and type the text. I'm using Sanidana font, you can download it from below. We select the pen tool, and create the text shape. Something like that. For text, we use pink color and stroke width 2, 4, 5. In this same way, we will create more shapes for the remaining letters. As you can see we created some more shapes, and merged the 22. Now press Ctrl R, and turn on grid. They help you maintain equal space between the lines. Again select the pen tool. But this time, we will draw pattern lines. For pattern lines, we use white color and stroke width 30. You can also adjust the shape by moving the points. In this same way, we will draw all other lines. As you see, we have completed the pattern, let's animate it. First we will add trim path animator. In trim path, we add end keyframe, change its value to 0%, and add offset keyframe. We move forward and change end value to 100%. Offset to 1. Now we select the both keys, and change it to easy ease. Then go to graph editor, and change the curves something like that. Now let's preview it. We will copy the trim path animator, and paste it, in pink and blue layer. But in blue shape layer, we remove the offset. And move the layers forward a few frames. Let's preview it. Cool. Now we will do the same thing, for the rest of the blue layers. I have a good news. We have created a discord community. So don't forget to join us, link in below. As you see, all the layers are done. If you want you can add offset to some layers. We again preview it. We select all the layers, and create a pre-compose, by pressing Ctrl Shift C. We open it, and add the glow effect, on all the pink shapes. In glow, change radius to 30%. Now copy and paste the glow effect on other pink shapes. All settings are done, let's come back. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel. And follow me on Twitter. Now we will create a camera layer, and null object. After that, we add motion tile effect, on the line composition. In motion tile, change output width and height to 500. Now we click on toggle and switches option. And turn on 3D. Then link the camera to null object. Select the null object, and press P, Shift R, then add all keyframe. Move forward approximately 2 second, and change the X rotation value to 40, Y to 30, and change position a bit. Now we select all keys, and change it to easy ease. Then go to graph editor, and change the curves something like that. Let's come back. And create a new adjustment layer. Then add gaps and blur effect. We will change blur value to 8. Then create a circle shape mask, on the adjustment layer. We invert it and add tint effect. We change tint value to 90%. In mask, we change feather amount to 180. If you want to stretch the pattern, 
change its scale value. All settings done. Now let's preview it. Our today topic is complete. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel. And give us your valuable feedback. It is very important to us. We will meet on next tutorial, and be happy.